Hey there, welcome back, Marius here and today we have Ark Survival Standard and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to get these graphics, not that garbage side, this is not a clickbait video, this is actually, I started from there and I ended up having 90 frames per second, that's the goal, to having decent game and also highest possible frames per second, that depends on your GPU, of course, of course, uh, so Without any further delay, I'm going to show you what you need to know. There are actually three settings, two toggles, three sliders, and two more console commands. Everything will be in the description, so in the video, if you need to, you will need those console commands precise, so you can always open and, and, and also I will put the timestamps so you can skip and all through that. So, uh, once in the game, of course, one thing you need to want to turn off is uh, view bobbing, uh, that's absolute garbage, and I also suggest and highlight the, the shake, you can turn down the shake. Anyways, yes, and also, yeah, I have a uh, field of view, this is something, by default it's 50, but I tried up to 70, the higher you go, the frames per second suffer quite a lot, so yes, I am, I'm gonna show you and all the tests that was on 66, so it's two-thirds of the 100, all right? That's just a disclaimer. So, the settings itself. Let me fix this part. So, I said, let me fix this part. So, what you start with is absolute nothing. That Remember that screen? Go with that. Uh, resolution, set your native resolution. Don't change it to anything else. For window or full screen, uh, I tried full screen. Actually, it worked better in daytime. In nighttime, it was quite opposite. This game actually uh, had, I run in a lot of issues, despite the, all, all the crashes and everything, but there are quite a different frames per second look and feel and everything, daytime versus nighttime. And as game has day and night cycle, you want to uh, check your settings in both of the uh, um, daytimes, right? So in a night, how it looks and how, it, uh, how, how when it's sunny, how it looks. So for me, I went, I went back because uh, in nighttime it was absolutely worse. I don't know why, but that's it. Uh, max frame rate also here. It's just for menu. You can see it's it's limiting because otherwise it goes in hundreds. But start with selecting low. That was apps. That's not full low. Just go with everything low. This is the starting point for every GPU. Trust me, this game is unoptimized. And also these settings are almost all off, but also you need to select off light bloom. It's garbage. Garbage settings shouldn't be there in the first place. Anyways, when everything is off, three settings you need to change is only here at the side. Um, it goes like this from the top to bottom. Low, low, high, low, low, high, low, low, high. So those three settings you changed was View distance to high, nothing else. General shadows also, not medium, not epic, but high and foliage as well. Uh, I will quickly explain why nothing else. Yeah, let's let's do in this order. So uh, first of um, view distance is if you go above, it will be too taxing, uh, lower than high, you will see things in front of your eyes changing it will absolutely change how the game is plays it, it doesn't feel nothing it's it's it will be too low to actually experience the game that's the minimum you want and need to go is high uh, the same goes for general shadows if you go with shadows medium they will be flickering i would love to go medium but they are flickering so that's the problem you can solve it by increasing to high no other way around and without shadows if you select low it's basically disabling all the shadows it's absolute shit show that was the side of the screen that was actually the screen and and the last is uh foliage quality if you go anything below high you will have poppins in the screen remember the clickbait uh, clickbait clickbaity thumbnail with the round corners at one side there was no stones in the uh, beach so that was the thing under foliage also falls all the rocks, so if you have medium or low, they will be pop in, popping in while you're getting close to it. So those three settings are absolute minimum.
for game to look decent, even good, I'd say, and run the best frames per second. All right, this side of the screen, everything off but two toggles. One of the toggles I highly advise to turn on, uh, light shafts, it, it's not that taxing for, for GPU, your GPU. If you have absolute old, old, old GPU, maybe leave it off. But otherwise, it was pretty low impact on FPS, but it's beautiful as hell. Trust me, you want this. You want this on. And another setting you want to turn on is <clears throat> that it comes in combination with those three sliders. So, enable foliage and fluid interaction. You want it on. It will absolutely change how the game feels. Otherwise, you probably will decide the game is too bad. And these three next settings is basically on those uh, with, with the toggle. Once you toggle it on, you can freely set it to 111. You can read what it does, the distance, the, the multiplier, how, how much interaction happens. It is not using that much of a GPU. It basically is interaction close by to you. So it will not be huge impact, if any at all. But for those three sliders to work, remember to have it on, right? So now we have everything done at that this side of the screen. I will quickly ro run through with some really spend five hours toggling on and off and in various combinations and everything to see how it how what works. So this is that quick overview. Advanced graphics uses way too much frames per second to what it gives, like improved graphics details. No, not worth it. Uh, and aliasing never it's, you want it off it's it's yeah low as low it can be textures surprisingly usually it takes a lot of ram vi uh, video graphics card ram nope here it really impacts your frames per second and the fun fact i at least i checked on the tree there was no texture difference when you turn it on on a higher settings or whatnot so leave it leave it off with low settings, the, the textures are quite high quality anyway. So that's that's the thing you absolutely can roll with. Post-processing is something that gives you this filtering thing. I hate it in every single game. It basically, in my opinion, makes it look worse and takes a lot of resources. So feel free to check it for yourself. But highly recommend not to do it. And the same is for effects quality. Maybe in the later game when you have some fire weapons or, 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 or um, I don't know what kind of hand play this game actually toggle the settings only. Um, there probably might be some things where you want some higher settings, but otherwise I just went with low. And the king of the show, global illumination quality. Despite the fact that Minions says uh, illumination, it's shit. It's absolute shit. So. In this game, there is no four settings. There's only two settings. Low medium is off and high and epic is on. That's how the game works. I don't know why they bother to do this. And the thing is, when you toggle it on, high or epic, in daytime, when you go in the forest, you will see absolutely stunning effects. You will see that everything dark, it feels Trust me, amazing. I was like, I want it. I want this setting to be on on my advised settings. Well, wait until the nighttime. Or you can switch it through the photo mode. You can open a photo mode, select timer of the day, and then just disable photo mode and you will be in the nighttime. In the nighttime, it looks like absolute garbage. I don't know why, what the hell they did, but basically they broke the nighttime. So it is absolutely worst setting ever and it is really taxing GPU. So I was like, so either one is good, another is worse or otherwise around. And in this scenario, it really uses up all my frames per second. Mm, no, you stay off. So basically low. You can test it for yourself, but go go ahead. No, no problems. You can always test them. So when th this is everything set, I like to set my uh, <clears throat> resolution scale to 100, doesn't matter, we will lock it. So of course, of course, the only savior for this game, at this setting side, when we have three settings high, everything else running low, uh, if you don't have DLSS turned on, you will have, I had approximately 
50, 45 frames per second. So this is the only savior for this game. And good news for, of course, for those who have DLSS, AMD card owners. I don't know if there's uh, for, for AMD cards, I don't see any toggles. Maybe it's automatically detects and, and show you different settings, but otherwise it will be harsh for those who have AMD cards. DLSS settings, the good news, uh, it uses 3.5. As you can see, we have also frame generation, but I'll show you, I have a um, thing that basically detects and shows what kind of DLSS is used in this particular game, this application. So uh, it has the highest quality DLSS. So you know what that means? You can run performance mode, which usually in, in other older versions, it was really crappy. You had the crappy visuals, you had the blurs and, and everything. We have 3.5, so performance against balance and against quality was about 10 and then 5 frames per second drop, but I did not see any graphical difference. Ultra performance was pretty crappy, there you can notice that it's using DLSS. Performance absolutely fine. And this is the setting last that you want and I'm jumping now in the game to show everything how it looks. This will be, we just transformed from absolute lowest to this and ignore this in the corner, I have frames per second counter. It currently my GPU uh, runs uh, recording, well, first of all, OBS, then recording, then the background screen is removed by NVIDIA uh, also and uh, noise reduction from the sound is also removed by the same GPU. So my GPU currently does a lot of work. So the rest of the resources go to the game. So that's why I can't have recording and show you actual real-time 90 frames per second. But this is what you saw. With one little exception. Remember in the, in the um, thumbnail, we did not have this uh, cloud. So last two things, we're going to remove fog and clouds. So this is approximately what was in my screenshot in the thumbnail. Here I had my 90 frames per second. Let's get it back. You want to enable a console. This is I'm just bringing the console, the full screen. Uh, it is done with the button above the tab next to number one in your keyboard. You'll find it. No one knows how it calls. At least I don't. <laughs> so what you want here is you will have to enter two command lines that basically say toggle off clouds and toggle off fog. Uh, they will be in the description. As I said, you need to precise um, the precise naming. I want, to sh I want to show you. Yes, we should be toggling off the volumetric fog off and volumetric clouds off. So you see it not only removed the clouds, but also everything about the lighting changed. And this is how we get the, the shadows. It's all tied together. You can't have those commands in any file. I'm going to share a any file as well. I'm just let's let's I'm going to share you everything. I'm going to show you where to put it. You can just copy paste if you have the same resolution screen. If not, you will just change the resolution. But rest of the settings with one copy over of any file. In any file, you can enter all the call, all the lines and everything, but I tried and I couldn't fit the cloud and fog removing uh, command line in that damn any file. Nope, 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 not gonna be your dinner. So this is it. Now we have three settings. We have three settings, two toggles and two common lines. And currently the game, yes, as I said, it's running 46 frames per second, but it is looking beautiful. This is this is how I would prefer. This is the minimum and also in weird way, also maximum for this game. If you have a really high, high, high end GPU, now you can go back in the settings and toggle something more on. For the rest of you, for us, this is it. If the game can run like this and you can have decent frames per second, congratulations, you can play ARC. 
if not anything going below will make this game look like shit and this is the worst this is the worst I, it's it's the optimization you we need to have some more optimization things or whatnot and in the corner you see there's a yeah, bunch of numbers if you pause and I don't, I don't know zoom in if it's possible on YouTube there is this uh, DLSS detector that says uh, 3.5.1 uh, uh, DirectX 12 running Kubian, Fabian, Hadier, and all the settings that is being used right now by DLSS. So this is the highest DLSS setting and as you can see it's pretty cool. Last thing what I'm going to show you is that yeah, this was pretty cool. Remember that foliage thing I said that turn on the toggle with the sliders one? This is the one. This is how it looks. It doesn't mean that like there will be one thing but one thing at a time can be you see? Come on, leave me alone. I'm showing how the bushes are being... Uh, how it's wiggled, wiggled around while you mow through. So this is the little thing that also adds to the game so, so you can actually have a decent playthrough. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna run off because one damn lizard wants to eat me. And this is it. This is the best and the only thing we can do with these settings. Otherwise, everything else will make this game really, really crappy. All right, I'm repeating myself. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, suggestions, anything and everything. I know there is a lot more console commands. I found dugging through the forums and everything that people say, this helped me. I tested and no, no clouds and fog. Yes, that not only helps frames per second but also removes the thing i don't like it's pretty ugly those clouds were super ugly and the rest of the commands that you can use them for your own discretion if it works works if not i hope i helped someone at least all right thank you guys cheers